Hello everyone out there, this is Devin Adams. Welcome to part two of our upgrading our 40 OS in JNS3 and NSC4 lab demo. So in the last video, uh, we did a full backup configuration of our FortiGate through the CLI and also using a TFTP server, right? And that is best practice when you're doing a upgrade. Also in our little testing environment, it's nice to have that backup too because you know, if anything happens and we're not happy with it, the nice thing about GNS3 is that we can come in here and trash that FortiGate, drop in an older flavor of the FortiGate and still be okay. So, um, which is really convenient. Um, anyways, so let's go ahead in this video and we're going to wrap this up. Uh, we're going to download the 5.6 firmware from the support website. So you do need to have a support contract, right? Um, but we will point out what file we, like there's, there's multiple of me. Uh, I'll point out to you what file you need to specifically do it through GNS3, okay? And then we're gonna drop the com we're gonna drop the uh, the um, the upgrade. It's gonna reboot our FortiGate. Then we're just gonna boot back into it and verify that it came back to life. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, access our support PC and get this done. Here we go. So we'll go to a website and or a web browser. It's getting late, guys. You can always tell because I start slaughtering my words. Um, but let's go to uh, support.fortinet.com and then you're going to type in your credentials here to get your uh, to get inside your uh, uh, support page. So, all right, here we go. Everyone, close your eyes. Ha ha ha. All right, there we go. So I'm in. All right, so you're going to want to come right up here to the top to download firmware images. All right, don't use the VM images. Also, I wanted to point out, if you guys are upgrading, look at that 6.0 out. Ooh, I'm so tempted, but I'm not going to. Oh my gosh, look at this. 5.6.4 just got released not that long ago. What? Okay, okay. Anyway, sorry, squirrel. Uh, I guess we're going to 5.6.4. Uh, but if you go over here to the upgrade path, it is a neat tool that they've implemented. And this is where you can go ahead and pick your FortiGate, right? And you can see what's supported. And also, more importantly, if you're going from one version, how do you get to the next version? And you hit Go, and it'll actually show you the upgrade path and also the release notes that you read, because you always want to read the release notes. So take advantage of that upgrade path if you're uh, upgrading in real life and you need to find out, you know, what, what, um, you know, what OS do I need to hop to in what order to do it successfully? But you still read the release notes just in case there's some caveats or in case you need to do some some uh, rollback um, prep work. Anyways, well, let's go ahead and go to download. So remember, guys, this is for our GNS3, which is using KVM. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure this is FortiGate here. We're going to pick 5.00. And then we're going to pick 5, 6, all right? And look at that. Oh, my gosh. 5, 6, 4. Didn't even realize they were up to that much, all right? So, but here we go. Uh, so what you're going to want to look for here, keep on scrolling until you get into the VMs, but there's a very specific file that we're looking for, and that's going to be, there's a lot of 48s. Come on, baby. All right, here we go. Here's the VMs. We're going to be looking for the V or the, um, sorry guys, FGT VM KVM builds. All right, see the KVMs? This is the one that we're going to use for the FortiGate. So we had the, um, we had the zip file before when we were importing the application into the FortiGate or into GNS3. For this time around, though, we're going to want to have the out file. Just make sure that you're using the right flavor here. So once again, guys, that's going to be the KVM flavor. And also, you're going to want the out file. Then you can go ahead and hit the HTTPS to get to uh, the download. And it should pop up here in a second. It's thinking really hard. Come on, buddy. Or maybe it's not. <laughs> All right. All right, there we go. Come on. Maybe I didn't click hard enough. Yeah, I guess I didn't click hard enough. Okay, so there it goes. It's 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 downloading. So um, I'm still always so impressed about the size of these things. Okay, so remember, dot out file to do the upgrade. 
.zip file to import the application or the appliance for the first time in GNS3. So, all right, now we're going to go into our local FortiGate. Okay. All right, we're going to log in. Uh, I guess it was already logged in. Not too bad. And right here from the dashboard, we're going to upgrade. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and hit browse. And then we are going to go to our downloads. And we're going to make sure we click that out file. And we're going to hit open. It's going to say backup and upgrade. All right. Now we did a full backup already. This is just going to do a running backup. See. And then uh, if we can real quickly hop to our local FortiGate you'll see this thing actually update itself, upgrade itself. So we can watch it here in the output. So um, there it goes, firmware upgrade in progress. I am so nervous. No, I'm really not. So, And it shouldn't even take that long. So um, we'll wait here for just a couple of moments. And if it doesn't do it right away, uh, it shouldn't take too long. We'll, I'll hit the pause button just so you don't have to sit here and Hear me ramble to myself. There we go. Done. Not too shabby. System's going down now. Okay. There we go. It's rebooting the system, restarting the system. In the meantime, I'm going to go back to my, my PC here and just close out the web browser. All right. See, that wasn't too hard, right, guys? It's already coming back up. It's already coming back alive. All right. Don't worry about the whole diagnose, debug, config, error logs. Uh, maybe in real life, but we should be okay. Uh, let me go ahead and do an admin and get system stat just to confirm that we really are on 564 going forward. So, yay. Let's see what it looks like in the GUI, okay? Oh, looks like my license kicked in. Yay. Okay. All right. So fw1.itninja.lab. Continue anyways. Remember, guys, I'm going to have a series on how to get over these cert warnings. All right. I do a little admin to log in. And going forward, oh, look at this. Isn't this so cool? You're using the default password. No. That's okay. We're in a testing environment. Um, look at that. That is it, guys. We are now on 5.6, and I'm going to start using 5.6 going forward. So there we go. Uh, all right, guys. I hope that was helpful, but that's how you will upgrade your um, your FortiGates in GNS3 in your NSC4 lab. And, uh, yeah, I encourage you guys to also try out the 6 that just came out, and I guess I'm going to end the video there. And maybe uh, start reading those release notes to see what they changed going from 5.6.3 to 5.6.4. I didn't even know that was out. So, okay. I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you guys later.